Welcome everyone. So good to see you all here today to celebrate my favorite birthday cake of all time, which is Tres Leches Three Milk. This is an authentic homemade version, but I'm going to show you easy step-by-step -step instructions to make your own. And I know there's some of you out there that are looking for that because you've commented on that. So, mm, yes, my birthday is next week, but I'm bringing it to you today because I'm not really sure what my family has planned. So, but today, let's bring you this version. The first step is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Get some cookie spray and we're going to spray a 9 by 13 baking dish. Okay, mine has flour in it. I really like using this when I'm baking cakes because it's really easy to take the cake pieces out. I've brought five eggs to room temperature. What we're going to do is separate the eggs from the whites and the yolks. So I'm going to crack the egg. We're going to put the yolk in the large bowl and then let the whites fall into our medium bowl here. So just separate the eggshell and then start rotating the yolk from one shell to another until that egg white goes into the medium bowl there. We want all of that white off of the yolk. That's one. Just go slowly with it. Let all the white fall out. All right, we're gonna set aside our egg whites. I've got an electric hand mixer and what I'm gonna do is add three quarters cup of white granulated sugar to my five egg yolks. We're gonna beat this on a medium speed until it's light and creamy. Okay, do you see how that color changed? That's what we're looking for and it's nice and creamy. To our bowl, we're going to add one third cup of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla. We're just gonna beat this in. Just gonna scrape down the sides. To our wet batter, I'm going to sift in one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So I'm just measuring and then I'm going to scrape the excess flour off to get an even. This is half a cup. So I'm going to do this two more times. I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. Just gonna use our electric hand mixer again. I'm just gonna mix this on low for a few seconds until it's well combined. We're gonna set this aside and then we're gonna bring our egg whites back over. Now you can use a whisk or you can just use a whisk attachment for your electric hand mixer. We're going to be adding in a quarter cup of white granulated sugar very slowly until the egg whites turn into soft peaks. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for right there. We're going to bring our cake batter back over. We're going to add in our egg whites. We're just going to use our spatula and we're going to fold in the egg whites into the cake batter. So just pull from the bottom the batter and pull it through the egg whites until it's all well combined. There we go. You don't want to over mix but just until everything is well combined. We're going to bring over our prepared baking dish and we're going to place the batter evenly inside. Just 
going to tap it on the counter a little bit. Make sure it's all nice and even. I'm going to place this in my oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes until it pulls away from the sides a little bit. It's nice and golden brown on the top. And if you put a toothpick in the center of the cake, it comes out nice and clean. We're going to cool this cake completely after it comes out of the oven. And then I'm going to show you our next step. The cake has cooled down completely. We're going to go ahead and make the three milk mixture. Now, I've got 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. We're going to place this into a medium bowl, or in my case, just a large measuring cup. That way it's easy to pour all over the cake. Twelve ounces of evaporated milk. And half a cup of whole milk, or in our case, this is two percent. I'm just going to take a whisk and blend this all together very carefully. Oh, it smells good. All right, we're going to bring our cooled cake back over. Okay, look at this cake right here. It's cooled completely. You can see that it has pulled away from the edges. Nice and golden brown. Now the true way to poke holes in your cake is just with a fork, especially if you're just putting liquid into it. So I'm just going to take a fork and I'm just going to poke holes all through the cake. It's very spongy. Oh, it's going to be perfect. Look at that. All good. We're going to bring the mixture back over and what I'm going to do is pour the mixture all over the holes in the center of the cake right here. Try to keep it all in the center of the cake right now to kind of fill in the holes. What we're going to do is you want to cover this with the lid to the baking dish or you can use some saran wrap to cover your cake and what we're going to do is place this in the refrigerator for about two hours and that will give it time for all of that liquid that's in this cake time to just absorb all through the cake okay and then when we come back i'm going to show you how we're going to finish this off in a large bowl, I am putting two cups of heavy whipping cream. Now this is going to make the whipped topping that we're going to put on top of our Tres Leches cake. I'm going to add two tablespoons of powdered sugar. The powdered sugar is like a stabilizer and will keep the heavy whipping cream, once it is whipped up, from splitting when you put it in your refrigerator, okay, to use as a whipped topping. It'll keep longer. So if you don't put powdered sugar in here and you just whip this up, it'll last about a day or so and then it'll start splitting. So the powdered sugar helps with that. We got some vanilla extract and we're going to add one to two teaspoons. Using my electric hand mixer, I'm going to beat this all together and whip it up until it's nice and smooth, almost like a cool whip consistency, and it should have nice soft peaks. All right, don't over mix. So what I'm gonna do is just get a spoon. That's what we're looking for. Okay, I'm going to take my whipped topping and put it all over the cake. I'm going to take my offset spatula and just smooth out the whipped topping onto the cake. I want it nice and thick on the top here, so I'm not really going down the sides of the cake. 
All right, I'm just gonna clean up the edges, which I like to do. Make it nice and pretty. I've got some ground cinnamon here. I've got some beautiful strawberries that I rinsed off and dried off. I'm just gonna take a knife and I'm just going to cut about three quarters of the way through the strawberry about four times through and then spread it out. Now I'm going to place these where you would cut slices of cake so that way everybody gets a strawberry and it's a nice decoration. We're going to decorate the cake. Happy birthday to me! Who's ready for a bite of this authentic homemade Tres Leches Three Milk Cake? My husband's got his coffee ready. I do. Let me go get my fork. Here's my birthday cake. Three milk, tres leches, authentic homemade cake. Let's go in. Mm. I wait a year for this sometimes two years. <laughs> I made this for y'all years ago, but I did it with a boxed cake mix. And if you want to check that out, you can go down below in the description box and I will link it down below. But nothing beats homemade cake. So delicious, easy, how-to steps. Comment down below. Don't forget my thumbs up on this cake. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when my shows are posted like this one here. I will see you on my next episode.